So my name is Bill Meyer, I'm a clinical social worker at Duke. I work in the High Risk Obstetrics Clinic and I have faculty appointments in both the Department of Psychiatry and OBGYN. I've always been very interested in human development and how our experiences growing up affect us. And if you take that back to its natural beginning, it would be pregnancy and the postpartum period. Typically, the kinds of symptoms that we're talking about are um, depression that has to do with guilt, um, that has to do with feeling inadequate, um, that has to do with concerns about whether a mother will be a good mother or not, um, a lack of interest or bonding with the baby, um, a lack of enjoyment of things, difficulty sleeping, or too much sleeping, or change in appetite, those kinds of things. It's not uncommon for a mother to say that I don't have any reason to be depressed. Um, she thinks that she lives in a good home, she has a supportive partner, she has a baby who's not an especially difficult baby, but what I found time and again is that if you ask that mother and invite her to tell her story, almost always you find many reasons that help to account for why she's depressed. It might be that the year before her mother died or that her mother is unavailable. It might be that she had a traumatic labor and delivery. It might be that she's having terrible problems with breastfeeding and feels guilty about the fact that um, breastfeeding is not going well. So likely it is that she's sleep deprived um, and there can be so many reasons. It might be that she's uh, alone in an unfamiliar city because she just moved to the area. If um, we tell mothers that we know that there are reasons, but invite them to explain more about themselves and their recent and even past history, then we can sometimes say back to them what we've heard and that we understand um, why, at least which factors might be contributing to why they're depressed. And in fact, doing that helps to validate uh, for them that um, their concerns and difficulties are real. I think the thing that's most important for mothers suffering from postpartum depression to know is that they're not alone. Um, and not alone in several ways. One, um, that they understand how common postpartum depression is. At least 10% of women experience some significant degree of postpartum depression or anxiety. And the other thing that's so important for them to know is that they're not alone in that they have support. Uh, they have support from their families, from their health care providers, and from the community in general.